Right then guys, how's it going? JT Judgment here and let's get started guys with another player review. Today guys we're going to be taking a look at one of the goalkeeper uh, legends available on the market. Now there's a couple of things that I do want to point out for you guys. First of all being um, that this is a review of a goalkeeper. Now I'm not someone that usually reviews goalkeepers on a regular basis guys so um, if I miss a certain aspect of the player uh, that I should have mentioned I, I do apologise. Uh, just keep in mind guys that I'm not used to reviewing goalkeepers so I may forget one or two things here and there I will try my best though guys to uh, include everything in the video the second thing is the obvious fact that it, he's a goalkeeper, you know, and goal, goalkeepers this year have been very, very funny. Well, well actually, no, funny's not the right word. Very bloody frustrating would be the right word because they've been pretty terrible. I mean, when FIFA 15 was first released back in September, the, the, the goalkeepers were useless, you know. You'd, be, you'd have more use uh, playing with no goalkeeper. They were absolutely useless. Then EA have released, you know, maintenance and updates in the game. Um, and from my personal experience playing the game, goalkeepers have become very, very overpowered. You know, you've got silver players performing as though they have Neuer stats and legend stats, and it is absolutely ridiculous. So, in a lot of people's opinion, goalkeeper reviews are probably useless. Um, but I did set out, um, you know, into FIFA 15, promising you guys that I would review every single legend, and you know, whether or not that you know goalkeeper reviews are probably useless, I. Still Still want to make them and you know share my uh, opinions on them and let you guys know whether or not I think they're worth buying basically. Now there's not much you can really say about a goalkeeper. I mean, in-game stats. The only stats you're going to be looking at really are his cards, uh, his card face stats. Um, other than the odd stat here and there being his reactions at 81 uh, and strength, surprisingly at 82. Everything else is in the reds, guys. Uh, and his uh, specialties or his traits is the goalkeeper long throw, which is, in my opinion, a big plus. I personally like to, you know, throw the ball out a hell of a lot more than kick it. I just, it's just how I play. Um, I just have habit of just throwing the ball out and goalkeeper as uh, David Seaman uh, he, he throws the ball like halfway up the pitch it's it's fantastic and he throws it accurately as well that's something I liked about him uh, is he's very very reliable in one-on-one -on -one situations guys very very good reflexes he's the sort of keeper where you know he would you'd think He's, your opponent's through on goal, uh, and just as you think it's a goal, he would pull off the most ridiculous save to keep you in the game. And he would do that pretty much every single game for me, and he was very, very consistent at doing that. And that caused me to, you know, have a blast using him because he was saving things that honestly no goalkeeper in the game should save. Um, and he was performing like a legend you know he was saving everything for me obviously he did let the odd goal in every now and then which every goalkeeper will do but for the stats he has he performed fantastic for me positioning I had no problems if you know exactly what positioning is like for a goalkeeper I had no problems you know he was on the line what else can you say about a goalkeeper his reflexes were fantastic his distribution was insane as well like I said his throwing and his kicking as well guys is very very accurate and like I said, goalkeeper long throw. It's a trait that I find useful because I like throwing the ball more than kicking it. Um, and that's pretty much the strength that I did find. His weaknesses is that his speed is pretty bad. I mean, moving off the mark, you can really feel and see that he is slow and he hasn't got a lot of speed. Uh, but then again, when you think of goalkeepers running out, out of the box, it doesn't really matter how much speed they have. They will pretty much win the ball. But when I use Seaman, you could see that he was very, very slow so I had to mark that as a weakness um, and I did find that he was pretty inconsistent guys at stopping long shots now inside the box he was very 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 reliable outside the box he did let a few shots in that I honestly expected him to uh, to stop but like I said he was inconsistent for me so just keep that in mind guys if you're thinking of purchasing Seaman for yourself that's going to wrap things up guys very very brief review I mean like I said it is a goalkeeper I don't do that many goalkeepers so if I do a goalkeeper review in future 
future it's probably going to be very brief and very short um, and that's going to wrap things up guys in my opinion personal opinion I think Seaman is definitely uh, the best English keeper in the game if you have the coins then I personally recommend he is definitely worth it I had a blast using him if I were to make my favorite English team David Seaman would be my number one keeper and that's going to wrap up this Seaman review guys if this did help you decide whether or not to purchase him yourself a like is greatly appreciated subscribe for more to come in the future and as always from me guys please take care and i will see you all next time ta-da guys